a bubagun on the run as a Zar North commander sent to judgment by the UGM in a bony state. Hear the news in details. Wonderful people of Biafra, lovers of freedom all over the world, you are welcome to Biafra Unite channel slash television this very wonderful moment. A bubagu on the road in Ezar North, local government area of Ebony State. <laughs> Ezar North commander, name withheld, because of course it is not my business to know the name of a saboteur has actually been sent to judgment by the phenomenal UGM as battle ensued this very morning. Today's date is 23rd of March, 2022. The phenomenal UGM took their gospel to the office of Ebubago in Ezar North, local government area of Ebony State. During the gun duel, the top commander in Ezar North was sent to judgment, and according to the information, there were no less than four to five Ebubago operatives that were also sent to judgment, including the commander of Ezanot local government area. They also, according to eyewitness, they also called for reinforcement from the zoo police, and the zoo police actually landed at the scene of event, they joined the Bubago in shooting against the phenomenal UGM. But of course, the people that were sent to God for justice and judgment against the murder, the, the murderers, the killers of innocent people in Nigeria, especially the Nigerian youth, who were killed before, during, and after NSAS protest in the year 2020. So because the siblings, the loved ones of those land youth in Nigeria have been praying and crying for help, calling God to come to their rescue, at the end of the day, God the Father, the Son, and God the Holy Spirit decided to send this very phenomenal UGM, to come and revenge, or should I say, to avenge the death of innocent Nigerian youths. Because, of course, I know why I say Nigerian youth. Because these people called the unknown government, the UGM, are everywhere. They are not just in the, zoo, in, in the east. They are in the west. You must have seen their activities in the west for the past one year now. Since after the NSAS protest, the phenomenal UGM has been active in the uh, uh you know in the western part of the zoo which is the land the same way they have been active in biafra land the same way they have been active in the north especially in the middle belt so it is uh it is just like that and they cannot i don't see them stopping anytime soon so what's my message to abu Baton? Anybody that is serving devil mahi in the name of a Bubago member or a Bubago operative, you are dead already. You are gone. And you see the way I'm sitting down, relaxing in the studio, recording this very news. That is how I will be here to record your own news. You have been warned. Resign now and escape Nigeria. Obunobu from Bene Republic, from Kotonu border, just make your way to Lagos State and from Lagos State to just head to Bene Republic. When you get to Bene Republic, you disguise as somebody who has come, uh, uh, you know, to, to hustle. And you begin to hustle for your future. Because we cannot tolerate any Bubago member even if you like resign and repent, it doesn't matter because oh sweet me, bo sweet me. A bubago is known as the 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 you know um the killer squad of the governors in the in the east, especially Dev Mahi and the hope um hopeless of danger. So anybody that we see working for these two killers can never, ever be allowed to rest in our land. 
is either you are being killed by the UGM. Even if you resign, make sure that you don't stay back. Because I'm sure last month of February, no less than um, 95 Ebubagu members resigned. And uh, early this, this month of March, no less than 135 resigned from a bony state. So, and these people who were resigning were the people, the original people, the indigenous of the land. Those who are still there now, are the Fulanese, the army, the soldiers, the DSS members and police who dropped their uniform in the day to work for Bubago. At night, they wear their uniform to work as police. Are you getting this scenario? In the daytime, they drop their uniform and walk like a bag while at night they drop they wear their uniform and walk like police, DSS, and soldiers. These are the, uh, the current bag you have right now in Ebony State and Demo State. And of course, we cannot relate that. That is the reason why I will keep on praying for the phenomenal UGM. I will keep on, you know, supplicating on their behalf. Every single minute, every single hour, every single day of the week, I will keep on supplicating on their behalf because these very people called the phenomenal UGM have done a lot already. They have put smile in the faces of the people. They have actually shown the people of Nigeria, the, the Nigerian youths, that God really exists and God has answered their, their prayers and God has actually sent the angels who will wipe their tears in physical, not in spirit. You know, uh, if an amen, a if a more, but this very particular one is happening in the in the physical in the physical. So don't tell me that God can uh, avenge the death of the innocent without killing anybody. How does God, how can God do that? These very evil politicians in our midst that formed the Bubagon and they, they are now using it. The same, same thing, let me tell you, my people, the same, same thing they did with Bakasi. The same thing they did with Bakasi between 19, uh, 1999. 2000, 2001, they destroyed Bakasi in 2002 in Anambra State. Bakasi was destroyed. They began to use Bakasi to, to commit evil. Onye jide go go na choye ko go go ega polia Bakasi. Bakasi anwronya atupuo, which was never their duty. Now, anybody, um, if you are a politician, if you are a politician and you, you you see this person is coming now to be your 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 you know your enemy your perceived enemies and your perceived um uh, uh, political uh, you know uh, uh, enemies and your perceived uh, political opponent these people uh, their lives were in danger when Ebuba, when sorry um when bakasi was you know in place in anambra state at least I want to use Anambra as an example because that one is the one I noticed when it happened. Your perceived opponent, your perceived political opponent were in trouble during the time of Bakasi. Because what these politicians do, what they did with Bakasi exactly that time, especially in the year 2002, is once you are a perceived opponent, they will use Bakasi and arrest you. And once Bakasi takes you away from your house, you are gone. You will never come back alive. That is how they destroyed Bakasi. The power that Bakasi was using to destroy those thieves, those criminals like uh, Deriko, uh, Ejima, uh, Infege, you know, uh, uh, including Edin and all. The power disappeared. The Emero the UK because Ajimpo Emero the UK. The the power disappeared. Bakasi became char, uh, chaff. Even ordinary people can uh, finish them up on the road. Yes, 
That's how they destroyed Bakasi. And today, Bakasi is now a thing of the past. It's the same same thing that they are using Ebubago to do. They are using Ebubago to assassinate their political opponent, especially in Ebony State and Demo State. And of course, that must not continue. Anybody that sees Ebubago, Ebubago is your enemy. BSS is your enemy. Any Nigerian police uh, uh, officer or, uh, or ag uh, agency or agent, as the case may be, is your enemy. Thank you, my people. Share this very news and make it go.